welcome in this lesson we are going to see how to use the normal traditional method to solve the hypothesis test so quickly let's look at the question they said the response times for a random sample of 40 medical emergencies were tabulated the sample mean is 13.25 minutes the population standard deviation is believed to be 3.2 minutes the ems director wants to perform a hypothesis test with a 0.05 level of significance determine whether the service goal of 12 minutes or less is being achieved so firstly we want to state the null and the odd the alternate hypothesis okay we are using the normal traditional method here so in the first step we state the word the null and the alternate hypothesis now to state it when you look at this they said 12 minutes or less if you remember from our previous lesson we said whenever you have 12 minutes or less it means less than or equal to 12 and less than or equal to sign usually go for the null hypothesis isn't it so less than or equal to usually go for the words the null hypothesis so you say mean is less than or equal to 12 minutes then what is the opposite of less than or equal to sign it's greater than so in the step two what is the level of significance you choose a level of significance but this question has given you a level of significance to be 0 0.05 so you just write it down then you are going to tell if this is a right tail or left tail or two tail test now to check if it is right tail or two tail or left tail you actually need to check where the h1 is if you have a greater than sign it is a right tail test if you have a less than sign it's a left tail test but if you have not equal to sign it's a two tailed test so this is a right tail test so you tell them that this is a right tailed test okay then step three you are going to tell the test statistic to use okay so we in this we use the word we use the the test statistic is the z distribution okay you tell them the test statistic you you will use on this and is the z distribution so what is the formula for z sample mean minus population mean all over standard deviation divided by root n how do i know that is z because it's a large sample the sample size is more than 30 whenever your sample size is more than 30 it's a large sample is whenever your sample size is equal to 30 or more than 30 it's a large sample so this sample size is 40 which is more than 30 so it's z okay then in step four you are going to find a critical value of z and the computed z so that you can compare them you are going to determine the decision rule okay you are going to determine the decision rule you are going to determine determine the decision rule now to determine the decision rule you can sketch a curve when you sketch the curve you shouldn't touch the x axis okay now is this a right tail test or left tail test it's a right tail test it's not a two tail so since it's a right tail test you indicate this part now what is the level of significance 0.05 so this it means this place is 0.05 and it's called area of rejection i didn't mean that it was a two tail test you'd have created another tail over and divided 0.05 by two but because this is a one tail test or right just a right tail test you give the whole 0.05 to the right tail they use it to find a critical value of z now to find a critical value of z what you're going to do is that you subtract the 0.05 from 1 
when you take 1 minus 0 0.05 you get 0 0.9500 you can try it on your calculator and see 1 minus 0 0.05 gives you 0 0.95 which is 9500 which means this side area at the left so when you take your z table it means that you should look for 0 0.9500 so let's look for it We have 9495 here. We have 9505 here. They are both... 9500 is between those two values, isn't it? So to get a Z-score, what is the Z-score of the 9495? The Z-score of the 9495 is 1.64. And the Z-score of the 0 0.9505 is 1.65. Add the two z scores together 1.64 plus 1.65 all divided by 2 it gives you 1.645 and in two decimal places still 1.65 so we are taking 1.65 as the z score for 95 percent confidence for this so this place is 1.65 so that's the critical value of z okay 1.65 then after getting a critical value of z then you find a computed z2 the computer z is going to be now according to the question our sample mean was 13.25 isn't it so you substituted the 13.25 minus our population mean is going to be this part the 12 so you substituted the 12 divided by according to the question standard deviation is believed to be 3.2 so you substitute 3.2 here 3.2 divided by n root n square root of n our n is the sample size which was 40 the sample size the number of selection you've done so square root of 40 now when you enter this on your calculator you get 2.47 now you you ask yourself this 2.47 where does it lie you see that it's greater than 1.65 or if you should plot it on the on the same line it would have been somewhere here 2.47 as you can see it falls at the region of rejection this place is called region of rejection or rejection region it falls at the region of rejection or you, you say the computed Z is greater than the what the critical Z so therefore since T sorry since the Z the computed Z is greater than the critical Z value then we reject HO. The computer Z falls at the region of rejection. You see, so we are rejecting the null hypothesis HO. You see, so therefore, the service goal of 12 minutes or less was not achieved it wasn't achieved okay so that's how you conclude so in the previous lesson we did we used the p-value method to solve this but in this we are using the normal traditional method to do it so this is how to do it and it's very simple thank you